Think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla Although modern scientists are just now beginning to understand this quote from Tesla, ancient civilizations around the world had known of the power of sound, frequency, and vibration for thousands of years. In the essence of all religions and spiritual teachings, we can find how the ancients used the power of the words. This power has been utilized in the forms of prayers for Christians and Muslims, mantras for Hindus and Buddhists, and chants for the shamanic traditions. All of this shows us how words and vibrations have an immense power, which the ancients often utilized for many purposes. In this video, we'll examine not only the ancient practices, but also the scientific findings of the power of vibrations, how scientists are currently using vibrations and frequencies to alter and reprogram the DNA of living beings, and how the Tibetans used sound for levitating and transporting heavy stones. Of course, we'll also tell you how to use this wisdom for self-improvement so that you can live a happy, healthy, and fulfilling life. Let me share with you an interesting phenomenon you've probably heard of or experienced before. This phenomenon precisely demonstrates how powerful sound and vibrations are. When I was a kid, I remember that moving my fingers around the wine glass was strangely making a very high-pitched sound, and I was really surprised by it. But what happened as I kept making that sound was that the glass suddenly broke, and that made me even more curious. What I believed to be magic back then, now I understand through science. This unusual phenomenon is called resonant frequency. Every molecule and atom in this universe is vibrating at a particular frequency. Resonance frequency would be considered the specific frequency of that specific object or atom. Once you know the resonance frequency or specific frequency of an object or an atom, you can amplify its waves, making it so big that eventually it will break or destroy the object. That's what happens when we stimulate the wine glass with the frequency that matches its resonance frequency. Using the same principle, in 1938, a scientist named Dr. Royal Raymond Reif cured 16 terminally ill cancer patients. We have an exclusive video for the story and the discoveries of Dr. Royal Reif, which you can watch by clicking the link in the comments below. Long story short, Dr. Royal Reif designed a healing device using only electromagnetic frequencies to target and destroy any disease. This discovery should have completely changed the medical industry, but for unknown reasons, this information has been suppressed by the mainstream media and by Big Pharma. Although a massive campaign of suppression was conducted, Many other scientists confirmed Reif's discovery by testing his frequency healing device. The result was the elimination of 60% of cancer cells from patients only through the power of resonant frequencies. Although the FDA made sure everything from this healing technology was destroyed, recently a professor of music by the name of Anthony Holland, who is also a composer, was always interested in the physical effects of sound, so he decided to assemble a lab to examine the effects of audio frequencies on microbiology. Dr. Holland created a non-profit organization for this purpose and began his experiments with harmless microorganisms like paramecium. What he discovered was that just like the wine glass, a particular combination of two related frequencies would completely shatter the targeted cells. After this experiment, he went out to find out the frequencies that could break cancer cells. After a year of research, just like Royal Reif, he found out the frequencies to combat pancreatic cancer and leukemia cells. 
In various experiments, he successfully destroyed 60% of the cells, just like Royal Rife did. This is nothing new. Cases of using sound to achieve healing and supernatural results can be found in almost all ancient civilizations. Even today, shamans use different instruments and rituals for different healing purposes. In a shamanic healer's toolkit, the most used and essential healing agent is the Ikaros, a sacred song sung by the doctor to the patient to stimulate the natural well-being and health of the patient. This song is also used in spiritual practices with ayahuasca. Now that you understand the concept of resonance frequency, this will enlighten your understanding of the power of mantras, specific instruments, and sound-based rituals performed by ancient civilizations. They are not some voodoo tricks. They are pure science used by the ancients. Besides the applications of this knowledge for healing, there is also evidence of how the ancients used sound, vibrations, and frequencies to carve and levitate heavy stones and objects and use them to build megalithic structures. It's believed the Egyptians had a device that could be tuned to a specific frequency and with it they were able to cut massive stones just as if they were cutting butter. If you don't believe such technology could exist, just look at the Al Nasla rock formation located in Taima Oasis, Saudi Arabia, or the Puma Punku complex with dozens of stones all cut with laser-like precision. In 1939, a Swedish doctor called Dr. Jarl was brought to a Tibetan monastery to treat a high lama. He stayed a long time at the monastery and became a close friend of the Tibetans. One day, the monks took him to a cliff where they were constructing a rock wall. As soon as they found a big stone that needed to be moved, 19 musical instruments were set in an arc, precisely 63 meters from the stone. There were 13 drums of different sizes and six trumpets, each of which was three meters in length. The monks started to play the instruments and they all chanted a specific mantra. After four minutes, miraculously, the stone began to sway and suddenly it took off in the direction of the cliff and after three minutes of ascent, it landed on the top of the cliff. Dr. Jarl claimed that the monks were able to move five to six stones per hour using this method. He made two videos clearly recording this incident, but they were both confiscated by his employers as soon as he came back. In 2015, a device built by a team from Spain successfully levitated and manipulated small objects with just sound. And here's an interesting old video of an acoustic levitation device by Dr. David Deke. One other recent discovery made by scientists was how sound, frequencies, and vibrations have the power to program or reprogram our DNA. In 2011, the Russian biophysicist Peter Gardiev conducted several experiments modifying DNA using only sound and light frequencies. The experiment was outstanding. He and his team successfully transformed frog embryos to salamander embryos simply by transmitting the DNA information patterns through frequency alone. In today's science, there is a term called junk DNA, which basically tells us that 97% of our DNA is useless and has absolutely no purpose. But could nature be so inefficient? I don't think so. This so-called junk DNA could be the key to unlocking our full potential and activating not only self-healing, but many other abilities that are considered supernatural. By now, you're probably wondering how you can use the power of sound and frequency to improve your health 
happiness, and your entire being. So without further ado, here are some tips you can use in your daily life. Tip number one, start using affirmations with 432 or 528 hertz music in the background. As explained in this video, thoughts and words, especially the vibration from them, are extremely powerful. When I say the vibration from words, I refer to the intention behind them. The intention is what will give power to your affirmations. For example, imagine two scenarios. In both scenarios, you will be affirming, I am truly grateful for everything in my life. But on one case, you genuinely believe it. And on the other case, you actually can't feel it as being true. If you record both cases, there will definitely be a vibrational difference. So, even though affirmations are extremely important, it's the feeling and intention behind them that will generate the vibrational power responsible for changing your body, mind, and spirit. Using 432 or 528 hertz music in the background will amplify the effect even more. Scientific studies showed these frequencies reduce anxiety and lower blood pressure and heart rate. They encourage synchronicity between both hemispheres of the brain, increasing creativity, insight, and intuition. The benefits of these ancient and sacred frequencies are way too many to list in this video, so you should definitely use them together with your affirmations. Tip number two, inspire yourself to practice yoga, tai chi, or any kind of meditation that will bring you into a high vibrational state. Now that you know that you can achieve self-healing and that by energizing yourself, you can activate the so-called junk DNA, all you need to do is start practicing this knowledge. Creating a habit that will tune you into higher vibrations and keep your physical, mental, and emotional body balanced and strong. Most of us know about the benefits of these ancient practices, but by having a deeper understanding of the power behind them can inspire us to take action and create our own daily routines. Daily spiritual practices are something that are essential in any spiritual tradition. Once a disciple of a renowned yogi called his master and asked him, Master, if you have awakened, why do you still practice two and a half hours a day every day? Then the master answered, I keep practicing so I can stay as someone awakened. Even if we reach expanded states of consciousness, practice is the key to maintaining it and to keep progressing. Here is a list of 12 scientifically proven benefits of meditation. And if there are so many science-based benefits, just imagine how many more benefits meditation offers which are still not covered by science. Tip number three, sing in the shower or wherever you are. One thing that I realized is that through singing, deep healing can occur especially when you don't care about what others will think. Singing can be a very powerful way of letting out all the negative frequencies and emotions that you are holding. Diseases appear whenever we have an emotional blockage, and sometimes these blockages can be released through singing. It doesn't matter if you sing good or bad. Use your energy. Let the energy flow from you through singing and you will feel the deep healing power of this practice. Depending on the vibrational state that I am in, I sing different songs. Sometimes I just sing rhythms without saying any word, but behind the rhythms, I can feel the frequencies that were inside me manifesting themselves. And once I let go of them, I feel so much lighter and balanced and naturally come into a high vibrational state. Tip number four, test healing techniques or treatments based on magnetism. When you feel a headache, 
or any other pain. However, mind that subjecting certain parts of the body to weak electric or magnetic fields has beneficial health effects. A recent study demonstrates that the use of an acute localized static magnetic field of moderate strength can result in significant reduction of swelling when applied immediately after an inflammatory injury. This means that magnets might be used much the way ice packs and compression are now used for everyday sprains, bumps, and bruises, but with more beneficial results. Magnets have been touted for their healing properties since ancient Greece. Magnetic therapy is still widely used today as an alternative method for treating a number of conditions, from arthritis to depression. If you wish, you can seek help from a Reiki teacher or someone specializing in energy healing. The best way to understand the potential of vibrational healing will be through experience. In fact, there are some hospitals in Argentina that include Reiki healing as one of their therapeutic options. Therefore, the development of healing equipment of this type is widespread there. Tip number five, use high vibrational objects in your environment. As we talked about before, each object and item has its own vibration, and adding objects charged with high vibrational frequencies, like crystals and mandalas, will create something like a high vibrational capsule that will help you stay connected with higher vibrations more easily. You have probably been to places that when you walk in, you feel very calm and peaceful. Transforming your own room and house into these sorts of places, you will experience an overall improvement in your life, and your meditations will also be highly amplified. 